this is it. Doomsday scenario. In our lifetime. I didn't think I was going to see this in my lifetime. I really did. Just didn't. to be a, being a part of it. Uh, it's like Camille. Yeah. This is right up there with Camille in the 1935. I don't even rank this with Andrew. I, Andrew was such a small storm. Compared. This thing is massive. This is gigantic. What was it, 40 mile eye, right? A 40 mile eye. Yeah. This is going to put Andrew number two way down on the cost list. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Andrew's going to be nothing. This is doomsday here. Ugh. We are there. Not sure where this thing is going to go. I'll, I'll right. add something to this one. <laughs> right now it's planned plan, uh, Prague to go right over New Orleans, straight north. Uh, Georgia marker in Gulf Ports. Um, we may be in Biloxi, we're not sure yet. It's uh, crazy. Look at all this uh, evacuation traffic on that road there. And we're who's on our side? Yeah, completely empty on our side. We're heading I-10 westbound. It is uh, now 4.30 in the afternoon, day before landfall, August 28th. Um, Right now the storm stands, Katrina stands at 165 miles an hour, which is which is down from 185 earlier, so I actually feel a little better. <laughs> Not really, but uh, so going back here, look at this empty, empty road. God, it makes you feel really scared when you see that. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> and stupid. We got 15 gallons. We're, we're a driving bomb right now. <laughs> and this car gets about 30 miles a gallon, so that's that's our ticket out of here, 450 miles. And we're just about to cross the Mississippi state line. Here comes the Mississippi side. Ooh, very good, they get that too. Yeah, see it coming up here? Yeah, just about to so be in Mississippi in about 10 seconds. open. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right here we're awfully close. I think this is all gonna be underwater. Totally. Oh it's gonna be. This will be our hotel for the evening. We are in... I call it Fort George. <laughs> Why? Because he found it? Well, yeah, actually he did. So. Then Dave Patrick called, and Dave Patrick said, the NHC has put out a warning of buildings falling over. Like big, well-constructed, you know, 40,000 foot pylon below the ground buildings coming down. And, oh, oh missiles. This, like, appliances and small cars. You're not making me feel any better this now. What talking about. However, what he didn't realize was that it was over New Orleans they're talking about this. Well, now that the center has shifted eastward, closer to us... Well, we'll get it. It's fine. Oh yeah, just fine. Everything's gonna be great. This is gonna be the <laughs> smoothest chase ever. Oh, well, I would <laughs> go, I would
make it here. Damn, this bank is coming apart. Driving east on the westbound lanes on I-10. Just uh, east, of, just Gulfport. east of Gulfport. Due to the uh, some blockage on the eastbound lanes. And now we're gonna have to drive down. Excuse my voice for being shot. We're gonna have to drive down the on-ramp and then get back on the highway in the proper direction. I hope we don't have to do this again. About two months after uh, Katrina, it is November 3rd, and we are back in town. This is where we are now, Lake Pontchartrain Bridge on I-10. Traffic is down to one lane, uh, one lane eastbound, one lane westbound. Uh, the reason is because <laughs> most of the big sections of that other side of the bridge are gone. Yeah, they're missing. 
We're in an awesome little red Cavalier right now. It's very sporty. It's sporty. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's peppy. Peppy. There is the the oh, there's a big piece missing. Talk about deja vu. Guess where we are. Gulfport. 